Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thank you as always for joining. Today we're gonna to talk about quantifying your trading. And we're gonna talk specifically about a trading strategy and technique that I learned very early on in my career that was really a game changer called the CTS strategy, combined technical scoring. This is gonna be an awesome episode, an awesome technique for anyone that maybe feels overwhelmed with the stuff that they're learning out there, or maybe just needs to be pointed in a specific direction, you know, learning how to use the stuff that they've learned. So make sure you listen up, all right? Hope you guys enjoy, as always, follow, share this with your trading buddies out there, and I'll see you guys at the end. While we're waiting on that, welcome to the live room, guys. It is exciting to be back, I've been away for a week came back yesterday for a beautiful q a session which was good because we haven't had a q a session for two weeks since i've been on the road a lot and today's trade of the day is going to follow up on yesterday's q a session so if you guys missed it right i had to shoot an email out this morning because one of our traders who asked the questions missed the q a we did a q a session on the CTS, well, we started off on reading ebbs and flows of the market and, and uh, had a discussion between having a strictly rules-based way of reading price action versus more of an artsy type of way and the pros and cons of that. We then went into talking about CTS trading. CTS trading stands for Combined Technical Scoring. It was a technique that my trading mentor taught me, and basically it is a way to quantify what you're seeing in the market. So if you're learning how to trade, you're probably learning a lot of techniques. You're learning this, you're learning that, you're learning, you're using this indicator, using that indicator. And one of the hardest parts, um, one of the hardest hurdles or obstacles that a newer trader has to get over is understanding what to do with all this information, right? Let me ask you guys this. When you guys first started trading, did you feel overwhelmed with the amount of information? I guess after you got past like the weird part of like not understanding what everything is, did you get overwhelmed with a lot of information? I did, right? I, I went to babypips.com. I was one of the first places I went to and um, nothing against baby pips. I think baby pips is a, a great resource. It is very similar to the book. Um, I'm kind of forgetting the name. What's the Thomas Bukowski book now? Um, the Charting Pattern book? I'm, I'm having a brain fart. Been too much beach time, right? Um, Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns by Thomas Bukowski, right? Um, meaning that it is a lot of information. One can say it is almost all the crucial information that you need to know. The problem is, in order to be a successful trader, do you need to know slash use all of the information out there? This is also one of those bigger misconceptions where it's like, the smarter I get, the better trader I will become, or the more knowledge I have, the better trader I will become. It's not necessarily true. Very similar in businesses, right? If you're a business owner, the more knowledgeable you are, the more information you have doesn't necessarily make you a better business owner. Um, you could be just as good, if not better, just being very, very good at a, a very niche type thing. But we don't know that as younger traders, right? So we assume that in order to get better, we just need to learn more information, feed me more information, learn, 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 eat, eat, eat all this information up. And what happens is we get information overload where either we learn so much information that it confuses us and we don't really know what to do, or we learn so much information that we don't know how to put it together in a usable way um, because there's just so much of it. And then we go back to, if you've ever been to one of our workshops, right? If you ever been to one of our workshops, Finvid as well, um, you'll see we always show the chart of like the 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 chart with like a million indicators on it and a million lines, right? That was literally my chart where every time I would learn about a new indicator, I'd plug it into a chart. Every time I learned about a new like pivot point or moving average or Fibonacci, I'd plug it into a chart. And then before you know it, my chart looked like a Picasso. It looked like a, a painting, a picture that didn't make any sense. So that's one of the trouble with baby pips um again good resource but like anything it's about how you use it so when i i'm not going to recap my whole story you guys can listen to the trading coach podcast episode 000 if you want to hear it but when i finally kind of admitted that i needed help with trading and i sought sought mentorship um one of the first things my mentor did or one of the first things i flocked to i should say within the program was the cts system because it took what we were learning, right? So we learned all this stuff and it took what we were learning and it made it 
it quantified it basically it made it into a checklist and assigned each thing a score value so this was worth this much this was worth that much and it organized it in a way so that not only can i choose what i wanted to use and what i thought was helpful but now i was consistent in scoring it so i know I, I knew that when i saw this certain thing on a chart it was worth this many points this many points equaled a good trading opportunity so one that i can take if i saw this and it only gave me this many points then that was a bad trading opportunity i couldn't take it or i had to wait for more and it, it basically brought a method to the madness so we call that <clears throat> excuse me the cts system now, back then, it was a strict set of a few things. Um, how I teach it now is a little bit more looser. That's just my personal trading style where you can add things, you can take things. The, the point is you want to take what's valuable to you, put it in that checklist, um, and then use it. And that's the way it's really unique to the person. Andrew says, at the very beginning, what I found frustrating was that in the video, everything is drawn out in lines. You think, yes, I get that. But you go to the chart and it's all choppy, hard to filter through. Yeah. Real life charts are a lot different than training video charts. Would you guys agree? YouTube, they're a lot different than YouTube tutorial charts, right? I used to do the same thing similar with books, Andrew, where I would read a lot of books and like technical books and everything on there looked so picture perfect, like triangles looked so beautiful and pennant patterns were so amazing. And I tried to find them in the real charts and I'd be like, what the hell? This looks nothing like the book, but if books are picking out pinpoint, you know, the, the, the best examples to show you, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. They got to teach you somehow, but um, it is good to get experience in both ways. So CTS trading. This is a good follow up to yesterday's Q&A session. Again, if you didn't see the Q&A session, make sure you do it. Um, it, it is recorded and posted. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Again, if you want to learn more about the CTS trading, I think we have a free training session on it on our website, part of your trial membership. Just head over to www.tier1trading.com. Sign up for that 14-day trial. Again, I can't remember for sure what's in all those free lessons versus the um, premium ones, but give it a try. You'll get some good lessons regardless of if it's in there or not. www.tier1trading.com. Sign up for that 14-day trial. Make yourself known on the chat, meaning introduce yourself to our traders. That way they can help you out and point you in the right direction. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Trading Coach Podcast. See ya.